all right guys welcome back so when I initially started the channel one of the main things I introduced myself about was that I was a medical graduate with another YouTube channel where I teach medicine I actually help students prepare for the licensing exams those notorious step one and step two exams that uh, all medical students have to give to actually go into residency now one of the other things that I had mentioned when I started this channel was that I'd be looking at a lot of the stocks that are related to medicine it's actually a very good field in stocks to be invested into because there are often stocks that are like penny stocks that eventually they discover something and then they get the licensing for their research and boom the stock skyrockets and one of those is right here which is BTX so on the right we can see my Robinhood today's a pretty nice day where uh, my general trend is just my Bitcoin so Bitcoin is doing a nice little beautiful recovery on its way back to the uh, 64k that it was at right so that's all nice on the left we're looking at a stock called BTX so let me open that up over here too this is Brooklyn Immunotherapeutics Brooklyn right here in New York uh, they actually made some new moves and over this last week literally tripled right so they were right now on April 26th they were in the $15 range today they are well over $45 so they've easily tripled and this is the kind of stuff I like to catch right so of course I'm still new to this um, this is still stuff that I'm managing and learning and watching out about and I'm sharing it with you guys as I'm doing it where medical stocks that develop some kind of new get the licensing get the FDA approval or have successful research results go ahead and move forward to something very promising and that causes their stocks to literally go up as you can see here 200 percent this is a regular thing that literally keeps happening every week with at least one medical stock and it's been a beautiful thing to see where now I'm reaching that point where I can confidently you know next time I know something like this is happening I can sell my Bitcoin and put that 100k into something like this like for example when I knew that you know this kind of stuff is happening and it's very possible of course no one knows 100 percent very possible that this stock is going to triple because of the success they're, they're getting in their research then I would have bought right here at $15 on April 26th which was the uh, start of this week on Monday right? so this was actually a lot of chit chat on Weeble and uh, some of my discord channels that I follow that this BTX stock will go up and away and it did right so uh, I haven't missed on any of this quote-unquote paper trading I do in my mind with any of these stocks so what happened with BTX well we can go over to Finviz and we can see what happened with them basically they got licensing for their mRNA technology to develop genetically edited treatments so if we click on that link we can see Brooklyn Immune Therapeutics acquires license for mRNA technology platform to develop genetically edited cells to treat many types of cancers blood and other disorders this company Brooklyn Immune Therapeutics is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that develops IRX2, a novel HD interleukin-2 based therapy to treat patients with cancer. Interleukin-2 is one of your many interleukins and of course you don't need to know about how all this works but your immune, your, your uh, entire immune system plays a major role in fighting cancer, right? Because the beauty of treating cancer that, you know, hopefully one day will come to be is that we can actually get our own immune system to identify cancerous cells and just kill them that would be the beauty of treating cancer right if your own immune system is attacking cancer cells then you don't need to worry about metastasis you don't need to worry about the cancer cell hiding somewhere your immune system will get into every nuke and crevice of your body and kill that cancer right notorious cancers that we worry about are leukemias which are all the blood cancers lymphomas which are another set of blood cancers and then many of the solid cancers like lung and brain cancers right so now now that they've got to this level where they got this approval they got this license they're working with something very promising which is this entire mRNA stuff so what is all this mRNA stuff about why is this so special well back in science class you may have learned a little bit about it and maybe forgot now but the basic consensus here is that mRNA is the thing that tells your body to make certain proteins all antibodies and everything else you use in your body generally works through proteins if you can make an mRNA thing that tells your body to make something that goes fights other things then your body will successfully get very well equipped 
that's the goal here, right? That's also how a lot of the uh, COVID vaccines right now with the mRNA aspect of things are working. It's, it's, it's a code. The mRNA is a code that tells your body, hey, here's the blueprint of what you need to do. And then your body takes the blueprint and makes whatever it needs to make to fight the different cancers that are involved. So what's next for BTX? Well, now that they've acquired this, they're gonna continue, of course, doing more research. The tr the, this stock going up 200% made them extremely rich this week. So now they have the funding they need to go ahead and invest that into specific cancers and more uh, specific research. What's gonna happen next is, of course, now they're gonna cash out that money and they're gonna start using it for their, for their research. So of course, this stock is gonna start coming back down. I mean, it probably won't go back to where it was way in the beginning. Like there was a time this was at two and four dollars and I've looked at it. I've looked at it at those phases too. And I was like, hmm, this might be one that might skyrocket. I mean, I literally have a whole list on my on my um, Robin Hood, which is for penny stocks. I call it the penny baby stock, uh, the penny baby uh, list. Let's see if I can reach it. Robin Hood's always a little slower on the computer. Um, and and I follow right here. Penny babies. See at the bottom. So I follow a bunch of a bunch of these uh, penny stocks, and I keep an eye on them just to see what they're doing, you know, just to see what's happening with them. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a nice way to kind of um, oh, no, let me actually just open it in its own tab. It's a nice way to kind of keep tabs on what's happening, right? Keep tabs on what's happening, what they're doing. I like to keep this list organized by price, and I watch them to see, you know, if any of the ones up here are starting to make some nice moves, because then. When they are starting to make some nice moves, you start wondering, well, what must have happened? What must have happened? Are they making some kind of progress? Is, the, is this stock gonna go ahead and triple all of a sudden? And when you catch that, you go ahead and put your money into it. So with BTX, chances are that this is gonna come back down to maybe around the $15 range, uh, possibly lower, or maybe even the $20 range. And then over the next few months, they might make more research development, which of course, you know, all research, I, I work for clinical research myself with uh, Quantum Leap Healthcare in California. I do a remote job for them. So when, when you do research, you make publications, it happens. And it also shows up in news. You always get these like nice little announcements you have to do so that you can get more funding. And when these people make their research and they make good progress and they announce it, boom, that's the moment you know you should put your money in there because this is going to go up because people are going to fund this and it's going to be a very successful thing. Similar to BTX, another stock that's medically related was Occugen. Occugen also had a wonderful, wonderful week. All right, so if we come back to Robinhood and have this fit with open right here, we can see that Occugen also succeeded and is continuing to succeed. So it's very much possible that Occugen might uh, actually go up a lot more and might be something worth putting money into. So let's look at Occugen right here. If it'll load. Never really understood why it gets so slow. I mean, I guess opening multiple Robinhood tabs makes it slower, but it's, it's always a little weird to me. Uh, so Occugen, I've, I've followed for a long time. I actually bought it a long time ago as well. I bought 100 shares at 273, sold it at 318. You know, and that was my little entry thing of keeping an eye on it. I was trying to see what's happening. This was around January 4th when I sold it. So if we follow, you know, after that, it still it still stayed pretty cheap. You know, so looking at the five-year lane, you can see how it had been a little more expensive, right? They often do these um, stock divisions. So of course it becomes a cheaper stock at that point. But uh, you know, it, it, was, it was dirt cheap, dirt cheap, and then boom, it skyrocketed, right? It did this thing in February where it went up to $15, came back down again, right? So right now I'm predicting that BTX is at this phase where it did this first boom and then it's coming back down. It's gonna be making nice little small gains as it's, as it's making more progress. And then today, this week, it has once again progressed, right? So this week it's up 16%. So what's happening with Occugen? What's so special about it? Why is this going up again? Well, Occugen is another medical company. It's a pharma company. Um, located in Pennsylvania, uh, development and commercialization of therapies for eye diseases. Its pipeline includes a couple of these Ocu for ocular medications. And then the one that's most relevant for us right now is Covaxin, which is literally related to, of course, COVID. So if we look at it right here. Uh, let me see. Ocugen announces closing of a $100 million registered direct offering of common stock 
for a, a bunch of things over here actually so if we look at this one registered the common stock price at a premium to the market so they opened up to having more gains basically a lot of options for for people to buy into here their therapeutic uh, success is amazing amazing they've done so well where's the letter let me find one related to covaxin uh the the oncogenes omedica naked run all these things that a lot of people are talking about you can see the, all the green gains here right 42 percent 20 percent 7 percent i don't see yet an article on covaxin but if we look it up and so times of india covaxin versus covid shield covaxin effective against indian double mutant variant because you know and if you don't know then you will now that india is pretty much going through what they're referring to as a covid tsunami right people are dying like crazy over there and uh the indian healthcare system has failed and the government has failed in taking care of its people now of course looking at how badly america even managed and how hard it was for america to handle a pandemic it's only understandable that india would suffer with a significantly higher population compared to their uh, actual literacy and uh uh, wealth distribution, right? So they're they're struggling. But Covaxin is India's first indigenous COVID nineteen vaccine, and it is doing great in the news. Right? So Covaxin is related to Accugen, which is why Accugen is so popular right now. This is one that I would possibly be looking into investing into. You know, I'm watching for one more dip, and I'm going to be looking into buying into it. So these are two stocks I wanted to go ahead and bring forth to you guys and talk about. And you know, just just remind you guys that that's kind of one of the major things my channel is going to be about. There's a bunch of channels out there that are all about, hey, I'm going to show you what's coming up, or I'm going to tell you like a god by predicting what stock is going to be the next one that triples, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Most of those, I'm not going to lie, are pretty bullshit, right? You, we all know they're pretty bullshit. Like, there's no basis to them whatsoever. They talk about finviz and a bunch of other things where they're going to use it in some magical, mystical way that you wouldn't know how to use it in. And then they're going to tell you what stock to put money into so that you can buy it and hopefully make profit. I have yet to see any success from any of those guys. And they're literally just clout chasers. You know, it's not it's not real. Me, I do this very real thing where I follow a very specific niche, medical stocks. And it's easy for me to follow them because I understand what's happening, right? I get the medical aspect. And I've done a lot of this fake paper trading in my mind where I watch these stocks, tell myself, okay, let's say I would invest money right here. Let's see how it goes. I make a note. I have literally notepads all over me everywhere just writing, you know, Covaxin. Let's imagine I invested 100000 right now. What's going to happen? And then I come back and take a look at the stock and I have yet to catch a medical stock that I saw with promising results in Finviz or anywhere on Yahoo Finance, uh, any articles of research being developed. I have yet to have a moment where I fake invested money into any of these guys and it didn't at least double, right? That's that's beautiful. If it can at least double my 100K to 200K, I'm with it, right? So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be watching these stocks, specifically right now, BTX and Occugen, but there's a bunch more, right? There's a bunch, bunch more in, in this list right here, even Acosti Pharma, any moment they can develop something and this can triple on therapeutics has its moments where it's also tripled many times goes back to normal biolaves also similarly triples often comes back to normal but there's a bunch of biopharma med medically related penny stocks that i keep track of i spend my mornings and often even evenings going through a couple articles it's about 20 to 30 minutes of research checking on what's happening and then i tell myself all right this is looking promising this is the one that's going to triple and i put my money into it now i'm at the point where i'm confident in myself where now i will the next time i see a stock that i know is about to do this jump i will put money into it and i will come back here and talk to you guys about that and you know feel free to join me on my journey if you want to as this channel progresses i look forward to having more regular chats with you guys where maybe every sunday i'll talk about what's to come this coming week uh every other day i might come live and talk about something popular that's happening that needs to be watched out about and regularly update you guys on dividend stocks that are that are skyrocketing right D dividend stocks that are doing really well for me so we all know my dividend list is right here from ivr down right ivr down to pretty much apple right these are all stocks that pay dividends even tencent actually all, all the way down to tencent and I have thousands of them, right? So that I can get nice dividend payments and continue expanding from thousand to ten thousand to more and more over time. 
Um, these are all things I want to talk about and also eventually start up a Discord server where I talk about medical stocks and send out alerts. None of that subscription shit though, just for free. Um, send out alerts about, about any stocks I've seen in research that I feel like might be uh, prospering. Right? And then uh, on, on your own decision making skills, you can go ahead and put your money into it. Right? So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about right now. Let's see how it goes and thanks a lot for joining.